I hesitate to really even call this a virus, but what happens is there's something that hijacks your Safari browser and tells you to call iOS tech support. Um, doesn't really look legit, but you got a toll free call here, which is really nice of them. And your data at risk is going to be your credit card details, banking information, email, passwords, Facebook, Skype, AIM and ICQ. Uh, AIM and ICQ, how old are these guys? That's kind of crazy. So your private photos, your family photos, other sensitive stuff can be accessed. They're even threatening to turn on your webcam. So the good thing about this is that it only hijacks the browser and you still have functionality on the phone so you can get out of this and it's relatively easy to get it off of your phone. So uh, you'll notice here in just a second that as you click the OK button at the bottom, it's not gonna do much. I've got the phone operating, but as soon as I go to Safari, you'll see this message and you click OK and it basically just reloads on the page. Now right now there's nothing behind it, but in just a second it loads up another something or other, but you don't really have much time to look at it. There's actually something behind this little bar that goes through. But long story short, no matter how fast you are, there's no way to close the browser. So you just keep seeing this pop-up come onto the screen over and over and uh, it doesn't really give any option to do anything but cl keep clicking OK. I'm sure if you call them, they'll want your credit card number and they'll uh, try to get extort some money from you in order to get this thing off your phone. I'm not even sure if they would do that. But what you can do is just go into your settings, click on Safari, make sure that you have your block pop-ups enabled, go down, clear your history and website data, and that will pretty much eliminate everything within the browser. Go back to Safari and everything is working as it should be again. Now the interesting thing is that the first time I got, I found this virus, I actually had my pop-up blocker turned on, but it still was able to infect the phone. And after I removed it, I went back to the same website about a week later and it was not installing the virus anymore. I actually had to do some hunting around to follow some links and eventually found something that would infect the phone. So most of the time when people see this, they get it removed, they wanna know if they follow these steps, whether or not they'll be safe. As far as I know, the answer is yes, but if I find out anything new, I will post it down in the comment section. So be sure to check back if you need additional information. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and feel free to share it on the social network platform of your choice. Check out some of my recent repair and product review videos and visit us on the web at gocellphonerepair.com. Thanks for watching.